So this is our first sale of 2022. Well, not our first sale. We've actually we've had the boat out a couple times for a day sale and uh, we went out sailing our friend's uh, Juno uh, 509 last weekend. It was really cold. But uh, nice weather today and we're going down to Redfish uh, and we have a project. We had some uh, extra potting soil and some uh, flower, wildflower seeds. And what we're gonna do is uh, terraform a little bit of the man-made shell island and see if we can't just make a little garden spot. We'll uh, be able to check on it through the year, see how it uh, performs. This is Patricia and I'm Dave. During the summer of 2020, we traveled to French Polynesia for a sailing vacation. We had such a great time that we decided to buy a sailboat when we returned. Our new Genoa Sun Odyssey 440 arrived in April of 2021. Watch as we outfit and upgrade Cavu, learn to sail first on the Texas coast, but eventually the world. line Dave look look how far back all the other boats are they're way back there Ooh, woo. what do you have to say for yourself I think we should tack but we're we're about to win we're not <laughs> there's always about racing you don't like racing do no nah, I don't that's true I like to cruise and enjoy myself I'm not a racer but but we're almost there the finish line so we have wind today, but it's in the wrong direction. We're coming up on the finish line. The turnaround? No, it's the finish line. Ugh, we're going to have to zigzag. Yeah, there's all the other boats we beat. They're having to take out their spinnakers and everything. We left them in the dust. Break 2022. Just kidding out here on a redfish island and i'm tired of it being so beer in here so we're gonna plant some palm trees dave is copping out and he's gonna be running the dinghy back and forth to cavu way over there while i have to do all the heavy lifting and dig up the shells Trish put a little organic material in the bottom of the hole that she dug. I'm going to stick these palm trees in here. We don't know if these are palm trees or not. They just, are. They are. We're just guessing that they Pretty are. Pretty sure they are. Because they showed up after the big freeze of 2021, and they're right near the palm tree that died. So, mm. pretty sure they are.
I need to put more on top of it. I need to put more on this. Yeah. I think so. So it has nice dirt around it, not shells. Okay. Gloves. There it is, the flower garden and palm trees. I kind of made the bed in the shape of Redfish Island in honor of the island. But anyways, we'll see if they actually grow. So I'm working. <laughs> we're hanging out on Redfish Island. Yeah. On the hook for the first time in uh, 20, uh, 22. Wow, is it really? That's the first time we anchored. Mm -hmm. Finn. We've been out a, a couple times. Finn, do you like being out here? He'd rather be out on the, the dock and you know it. Alright, so here's our front yard. Oh. <laughs> got the bonfire set up, got a. Uh, uh, probably have, have a little wine, sunset yep. wine. Uh, we're cooking a dried steak, steak and salad tonight for dinner. Um, it's probably about 75 degrees out here. Bright sunshine, feels really good. Yeah, it does. It's like perfect. Finally getting some uh, some sunshine. And um, apologize for being pale. <laughs> we'll get Patricia the all over tan later. Yeah. All right, Finn is in the He likes redfish because he's the apex predator on the island. There's nothing on the island except for some birds, but they, they're in the middle and it's rocky. But, uh, Sunset wind down. Cheers. I'm on the foredeck of Cavu and I've decided to start a workout routine to do on the boat. Bikini season is just around the corner and I like to eat too much so I can't skip a day at working out. Um, so I got mini bands here. So that's where I put my exercise mat and it turns out these lines for the jib are excellent grab bars. There's limited space on the boat. So I'm using mini bands and I'm not playing around. I got the extra heavy and the heavy because I'm on the dark side of 30. So I need maximum resistance for maximum results. I'm just gonna run through a few moves and I do each of these moves for one minute. For legs, I like the extra heavy. Donkey kicks and then plank leg lifts, clams, bicep curls. 
tricep extensions. Pull apart. Overhead, pull apart. Back stuff. Woo. Yeah, so 30 minutes of that. It's a little sporty out here. Yeah, the, this is probably more than what we've uh, seen. We've seen more than this, we've seen more wind, but uh, we'll see what it looks like when we get into the marina. Yeah, so yeah, right now it's not too bad, but come over here. I mean, we're making like, uh, five and a half knots and we only have the jib out right now because the wind's coming from behind us we're still making great speed and it's definitely a little rolly for the bay Stop right in front of ours and we'll let it back up and turn it with the bow thruster. Check it bow thruster again. Our dock space is really tight, the fairway is narrow, and we barely have enough beam to fit into the slip. But it's really a challenge that I've stepped up to and I'm, I think mastering this has really helped my control of the boat, especially in these situations. We're first on the list for when a slip opens up on the other side of our dock. That side has a wider fairway and wider slips which will fit our beam a lot better. But for now I am stepping up to the challenge and it really is improving my skill. Make sure you like and subscribe and tune in next week as we go down to Galveston to do a little recon on a trip in April where we're gonna take the boat down and dock it next to the Alyssa, an 1877 tall ship, and go out on her for the day.